Hi everyone, right I'm back. Sorry, um, <laughs> I was just doing some editing with the films that I've just put another video up of the scrap flowers that we've done, I've done. Uh, right now, um, I'm still playing. <laughs> Why I'm still playing? So I've got this flower. Like that. I'm just going to put that little patch on the back. Like that. Oh, and I'm a silly moo because I forgot to put the leaves. Oh, never mind, we'll put another back on it. My glue gun's heated up too much. I left it on when I was editing and I shouldn't have done. Never mind. We can put another back on it. No problem. No problemo. Right, now I made the... Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So I will make these. Uh, I'm just figuring out. Oh, that's gorgeous. These flowers are coming back in. Beautiful. Oh, I like that. Now, we need to make a little pin for it. I made that pin before. You should see it. It's gorgeous. Using one of my larger pins. Look. Isn't that beautiful? I just love making pins. So I've got a stick pin. Oh, a bit worse for wear, that one. I'll get a one that's fine. There's one. So I'm going to make a stick pin for that. Do you know what? I might make a smaller one. Yeah, that'll do. One like that. And just put a couple of beads on it. And a crystal, maybe. What colour have we got in there? I need to move that out of the way. Right. Now. There's a bead on this. I know I like that as a charm. What are you going to do with that, am I? Here's a nice crystal. Let me get a roundel. And a pinky pearl, methinks. Is that pink? Right, let's find a bead for it. Here's one. Pinky. Oh, where's my bead? Uh, but roundel gone. Little roundel and a pink bead. I, I just want something small for this. Pop a little bit of glue on and turn it around. That's fine, look. That's fine for this one. It's only a small flower. And I think I'll sit that in there. I'll sit it in there. Okay, pop a bit of glue down the bottom. Push that in. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I do like making these. I've got another one that I've tried with a different ribbon. Which I'm just going to... Oops. Pop that on there. And then sit that there. Now, what do I need? What do you think? I need one of those. Let's have a look. Oh, another pink one, I think. The way to make them, the central one, this one, this one, is just, again, you take a strip and you cut it. Seal the end. Oh, I, well, I trimmed mine. I just cornered it a little bit like that. So it took the corner off. Make sure you do it on the right one. On the other end, then took my lighter and sealed it like that. 
took my needle and thread and then we just start on the point and just did a running stitch And what you do is you pull them two together and you can, they kind of like overlap each other and then pull it in and you get this gorgeous ruffle like that and then to that I can just glue in one of these little pretty flowers and if I do it right and then I can put that in here like that and then they do make really pretty oops I've squashed that now you silly girl like that. They do make really pretty flowers. Like that. See? You can make all different kinds. Um, so let's make a pin for that. Another small one. I shall use a small crystal. Let's find another roundel. I think that'll do. Yeah, that crystal sits in there nicely. It will do when I've got the bead on. Like that. And then I'm going to do like a teardrop one if I can find one that's small enough. What's that one? That'll do. Yeah, you don't need much. There, like that. Not pretty. Just a couple of beads that's all it takes now I'm going to drop a little bit of uh, glue down there because I do want to keep these in place like that and what I'm going to do is to make the leaves I need my tweezers because we fold that in half and we fold that in half make sure they meet And then we need to squash that down. Hopefully that's stuck. Yeah, trim that. Seal it. Just got enough on this one, I think. Sorry, that was my stomach, and I do apologise for it because I have just eaten. I did take a break today. <laughs> I didn't take a break yesterday. I worked from seven in the morning till. I think it's about eight o'clock, half seven, eight o'clock. I was really busy yesterday. Sorting things out. Right. 
and then just keep hold of that end and stitch it back again I'll put a, a different uh, thing on that work out where I want that Oh, that's pretty just like that but I do like them with two leaves so I'm going to do another one And just pull that tight pull that one up to that stitch it to the last couple of folds I'm just gonna burnish the ends off I thought I'd done that okay and I think I'll have that there like that and they are really really pretty look at those I mean you can sit them on a doily you could put lace behind them uh, let's see if we've got any tassels for them See, that will go with that one. Uh, that's too brown. We've got another one. And that will go with that one. Oh, I've got that. Oh, that's the, yeah, we'll make them two the same. <coughs> Before we put the new backs on them. Move your needle, see? Right there. Look at that, it's that gorgeous. And that's only a small one, but it's only a small flower. Make sure we get it in the right place. That's not quite where I need it. That is. Yeah. See? And then we just pop that on there like that. Just beautiful flowers with a bit of effort and very little material I'll put that one in because we have made that like that there you go hope you like those Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.